The Earth and space are full of fabulous mysteries just waiting to be discovered and solved. Scientists, historians, and even just curious humans have been attempting to chip away at these curious mysteries for hundreds of generations. Fantastically, the more discoveries that are made, the more that we realize how little we truly understand about the world around us and how much more there is to uncover in the search for the secret inner workings of our world. Whether these findings occur within the deep oceans of our planet or the farthest expanses of space, the one thing that remains certain is the fact that there is always more to be revealed. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three recent discoveries and what they could tell us about our planet, our history, and life itself as we know it. Hawaiian Island Vanishes of the Face of the Earth Nobody expects to hear that an entire island has gone missing. But when it comes to the seemingly unshakable landforms that we have become so used to surrounding us on the planet, there are certain land masses that are not just built to last. Eventually, even nature can succumb to nature as its time comes to a close. And for a Hawaiian island, that time came sooner rather than later. East Island, which was nothing more substantial than an uninhabited mass of sand peering above the ocean waves, has finally succumbed to the waves that continuously lapped at its fragile surface. Recent United States Fish and Wildlife Service satellite images show the shocking before and after of the entire island being wiped out due to the powerful storm surges caused by Hurricane Wallaca in 2018. And although the island, which was fairly small at around 1 km long and 120 meters wide at its largest point, was not inhabited by humans and slipped almost unnoticed beneath the sea, it will be sorely missed by the ecosystem that it was a part of. Scientists are concerned about the impact that the disappeared East Island will have on endangered monk seals, green sea turtles and seabirds, all of whom relied on the sands of the island for dry, protected nesting grounds and resting locations. East Island was part of the protected French frigate shoals in the northwestern Hawaiian Islands, which makes up the Papahanaumokuakea Marine National Monument. Despite its relatively small size, East Island was the second largest island in the shoals, which collectively make up the third largest protected area in the world. However, Hurricane Wakala shed light on the sobering fact that protecting an area from human alterations does not mean that Mother Nature could ruthlessly exact her vengeance on the landscape at any point. In fact, the circumstances which saw East Island disappear forever are expected to only increase in the coming years as climate change grips our planet ever tighter. The fate that Easter Island succumbed to is not unique and will likely only become more and more common as climate change continues to drive rising global temperatures, raising the sea level and threatening many such low-lying islands across the globe. This recent disappearance, although incredibly concerning and alarming to researchers, is not necessarily a surprise. Dr. Chip Fletcher, a climate scientist working with the University of Hawaii to perform research on the island, had already predicted the East Island had only a few decades left at most before it sank below the waves, and his predictions were driven to an early fruition by the vengeful hurricane Wallaca. I had a holy moment thinking, oh my god, it's gone. It's one more chink in the wall of the network of ecosystem diversity on this planet that is being dismantled, said Fletcher, who has long been concerned with the effects of climate change on low-lying but still ecologically vital land masses like East Island. He said in an interview with HuffPost that this is not surprising when you consider the bad luck of a hurricane going into that vicinity and sea level rise already sort of deemed the stressor in the background for these ecosystems. The probability of occurrences like this goes up with climate change. For now, scientists continue to study the devastating effects of climate change and rising sea levels, which have now already shown with East Island how devastating they can be for even the most unassuming of land masses. Has the lost island of Cain been found? While some islands are disappearing from the face of the earth, never to be seen again, there are other landforms that are suddenly being rediscovered. In 2015, a team of archaeologists from several countries found an island off the Turkish peninsula that they were able to identify as the lost city of Cain. This city was the location of the Battle of Arganusay, 
in which the Spartans were soundly defeated by the Athenians in 406 BCE, and which constituted one of three ancient Arginus islands. Now, only two of these islands remain, and are known now as the Garib Islands. The ancient city of Cain has been referred to throughout several ancient texts, but nobody was able to definitively say where it might have been until recently. The discovery was made by a team of researchers analysing rock layers underground on a peninsula along the Turkish coast, which revealed that the tip of the peninsula had previously been an island that had joined the mainland over thousands of years of sediment buildup, as the land bridge between the tip of the peninsula and the mainland consisted only of loose soil and rock. When they realised this, the team immediately suspected that it might be the long-lost island of Cain and set about analysing pottery shards, architecture and historic artefacts in the surrounding area to attempt to gather clues of the island's ancient history. They quickly discovered that the mystery of where the ancient island of Cain once stood had been finally solved, and the landmass had been right under archaeologists' noses the entire time. This is an important discovery for historians and archaeologists, as Cain was an incredibly important ancient city that played a large role in many major events of the time. Placed at a critical location on the Turkish coast, Cain likely acted as a stopping point and way station along the trade and travel routes of the day, especially those headed to Lesbos and Adramatean in the north and Alea and Pergamon in the south. Its location was likely the reason that it acted as the setting for the aforementioned Battle of Arganusse during the Peloponnesian conflict. Now that its location has finally been identified, more definitive archaeological research can occur to attempt to learn more about the historical events that likely occurred there and how the people who called the island of Cain their home lived. It is not every day that historians can claim to have recovered a long-lost island, and there is no doubt that researchers will take every advantage of this discovery. NASA Mars rover finds organic molecules in Jezero crater. As scientists continually peer across Mars's red expanse through the eyes of the Mars rover, searching for signs of the potential for life, they are constantly uncovering more and more pieces of the mysterious planetary puzzle that is our cosmic neighbour. Recently, analysis conducted of the Jezero crater using Perseverance's Sherlock or scanning habitable environments with Raman and luminescence for organics and chemicals instrument confirmed the presence of carbon-containing molecules within the rocks and dust inside the crater. The Jezero crater is what remains of an old lake bed that was likely formed in the early life of the planet from flowing lava. This discovery of carbon which is an organic molecule needed to form even the simplest building blocks of life, is an exciting one for scientists who are looking for potential clues for former microbial life on the ancient, uninhabited and desolate planet. The rover Perseverance, affectionately known by scientists as Percy, will continue to collect these samples from within the Jezero crater, and these samples will then be transported to Earth by a joint campaign undertaken by NASA and the European Space Agency although it will likely be several years before this mission is successfully realised. Percy's mission is twofold. The first is to search for indications that there may have once been microbial life on Mars, and the second is to collect promising samples in preparation for the return expedition, which will be the first ever Mars sample return effort. It seems that Percy has already made excellent progress towards fulfilling both goals with this latest organic matter discovery. However, Although this find is important when it comes to piecing together the history of the planet and its potential for ancient life, it does not by a long shot confirm that there was ever life on Mars. Although carbon is necessary for organic life, NASA said in a statement that confirmation of organics is not a confirmation that life once existed in Jezero and left telltale signs. There are both biological and non-biological mechanisms that create organics. In fact, Organic compounds have also been identified elsewhere on the surface of Mars, as the Curiosity rover also located organic compounds in the Gale crater, far removed from the Jezero crater. The four further inferences can be made about the possibility of life on Mars. Scientists must first ascertain whether biological or non-biological processes created the compounds which were discovered, something that is not an easy task in the slightest. 
Hopefully, further analysis of these samples will reveal valuable information about the ancient history of Mars and what it might mean for those of us still landlocked here on Earth. But what do you make of these curious mysteries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.